Hi, I'm Michael Energy from TryPerDM.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up push notifications on the PerDM Merchant Dashboard. So the first thing you want to do when you log into your account is go down to Marketing and expand the menu. Scroll down a bit and you would see the option for push notifications. All you have to do is click on it and go to the notifications page. Now there are a few sections here. Pretty much the first one is Dynamic Notifications which is a dynamic way of sending notifications, especially on birthdays. So you have the ability to create a template that would be running. Um, and then the second section here is other status notifications. So these are transactional notifications that are being sent to customers when they interact with the mobile app, either by purchasing something or any other actions that can be carried out on the mobile app. The last section is the advanced push notifications, which pretty much allows you to do extra things, you know, with the push notifications we're going to see um, shortly. So starting with the dynamic notifications, um, if I expand the accordion, of course, you can see um, that a template has already been created for birthday notifications. But I'm just going to show you how to create one yourself. So all you need to do is click on create template and for now the only notification type available is birthday and so it's going to say um, birthday on the notification type and then who do you want to send this um, to do you want to send it to all customers or you want to send it to a specific customer group if it's a specific customer group then you have to select what group it is so you have the option to select but for this example i'm going to set it as all customers and then i could put a subject there um the subject and then this is where you put in the message body test message and another beautiful thing you can do is to insert the first name and you can also insert the last name of um, the customer within the message so you structure the message body to be able to account for first name and last name um, and as long as the customer is logged into their accounts on the mobile app you know push notifications that are being sent will be sent using um the first name and last name that has been inserted into the body here another thing you can do also if in the case where you want to give out um coupons free coupons or you just want to add coupons to the message um, that you're sending a push notification is the same thing all you do is click on coupons and then you're going to get this modal that pretty much has all the list of coupons that have been created and of course you can just select which of them you want to add and click on done and once you do that it's going to add a message with the coupon code so that is exactly how you set up you know the birthday notification for under the dynamic notifications tab and all you need to do is click on save um, so birthday template already exists so you can always have only one birthday template at a time so you'd have to delete this one or make changes to this one before you're able to save a new template and then for the other status notifications it's pretty much an already filled template for different scenarios so order received which is when um, you receive orders from your customer then they get an automatic push notification um, on the mobile app if the order is in progress they also get a uh, push notification and these are all the messages that have been pre-filled here you can always make updates to these messages and then just hit the save button down here now the last section being the advanced push notification so you can send more push notifications to your customers to pretty much drive growth so when there is an abandoned cart you can send a recover abandoned cart um, push notification message if you want to bring back lapsed um, purchasers so people that you know haven't made a purchase recently um, you can also set this up in a way that you know they get sent this message and the beautiful thing um, about this is that you can preview how that's going to happen so for a, re a recovery of an abandoned cart um, so the automation flow is simple um, when a customer has abandoned their cart 
the system is going to wait 15 minutes and then take an action which will be to send push notification that leads to the cut and then that ends so pretty much this is how the message looks um when it when it um lands on their devices so this is pretty much how you set up push notifications on the Purdue Merchant dashboard. Of course, there is a way you can go in to see your notification history using that button, and you can see all the messages that have been sent and their timeline. You can also create an immediate notification on the fly using that button, which you can send to all customers or customer groups as we saw before. And of course, you can select a date and time. By default, it's gonna be set to immediately, but you can actually schedule a future date and time where you want this message to be sent. And you can, of course, impute the subject and the body. And you can also have the opportunity to choose from existing message templates. So if it's a new seasonal menu, free Wi-Fi upgrade, you know, just something to help you get started with. Um, you can do both and then click on send notification and it will be scheduled to send to the customers um, on the selected date and time or immediately as the case may be. So that is how you set up push notifications on the Per Diem Merchant dashboard. Thank you.